Hey, I'm Brian Hines. I'm the creative director here at Austin Williams, and we're going to do our annual big game breakdown, talking about the ads, what we do. So we want to talk about what we thought were the best, maybe some of the misses, uh, some of the trends that we saw. Uh, so let's get right into talking about a couple of themes that we saw. First of all, tried and true every year is funny. Okay, for funny, uh, you can also combine this and it has usually been combined with things like celebrity, things like nostalgia, your favorite song, your favorite artist, uh, your favorite movie stars. Uh, there were a lot of really funny spots this year. Uh, I think that the best spot was the Jeep spot, the Groundhog Day, Bill Murray reprising his role. Um, I really felt like it was really effective in showcasing the product. It hit all those kind of touchstones that you want about nostalgia uh, and, and Bill Murray's just always funny and what are you going to do, a, a cute groundhog, a little Puxitani fill in there. We think that the Jeep spot was great. There were some other, there were a lot of funny spots. The, the Smart Park spot, spot was very funny. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on also. The Dorito spot was funny. Uh, the MC Hammer Cheetos dust, very funny. Again, nostalgia, your favorite song, your favorite artist and a good funny premise. Funny usually wins during the Super Bowl, and I think the Jeep really nailed it. Second thing, the classic really think makes things uh, the one that really kind of lingers with you are the spots that give you the feels, the spots that make you really kind of really feel those emotions, maybe make you tear up a little bit, maybe you think make you think a little bit. And by far, Google nailed it with their spot about uh, the guy who's using voice assist to help him remember the love of his life, remember all those moments. Uh, I know that in the room that I was in, the Super Bowl party that I was at, everybody was affected by it. Um, really, really beautiful spot. Uh, I think that there was, we noticed a trend. Um, I counted four spots that were about uh, women's empowerment. And I think that this has been done better in the past. Uh, they just felt a little too kind of heavy handed over the last couple of years. Uh, throw like a girl, amazing spot. Um, and that really, I think is what people were shooting for. The one that really hit it was the NFL's own spot where they talked about uh, the first female coach uh, in the NFL uh, for the 49ers. That spot was effective. That was really good. But um, for the feels, Google's Alzheimer's, uh, you know, voice assist spot, spot on. Um, really got to talk about effectiveness which spots really um, had the most bang uh, for your buck? Smart Park. <laughs> Smart Park. M-A-H-T, Smart Park. Um, okay, amazing. What Smart Park did was they hit all of those things that we talked about before. You got celebrity, you had um, nostalgia, you had you know Rachel Dreck reprising her great role with that Boston accent, you had Chris Evans, you had Krasinski, you had Big Poppy, you had all of these things in there making for a good funny spot. But what was amazing is people were like, wow, look at that technology, this car parks itself. So the entire spot is just a bunch of people standing there in a funny Boston accent doing that bit, but showcasing that product, showcasing the technology. That's why I think for effectiveness, for what are they spending $5.6 million for 30 seconds for? You want to sell something, Smart Park, for my money, for their money, the most effective. Uh, so it's a, not a big game without awarding an MVP, a couple of trophies. For my money, Google's the spot you're going to remember. It's the spot in terms of it being the, the sort of elevated spot that branders and advertisers, you know, you want it to be remembered for a spot. That's an amazing spot. Um, any one of these three spots, I think, could have gotten uh, up there to this 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 level, and maybe if you're talking about effectiveness, Smart Park in the end is going to be the one. Love the Jeep spot. Just a couple. That's our big game wrap up for this year. See you next year.